Welcome to the Great British Chefs Cooking with Children Christmas app. It's free and it's an association with Tesco. I'm here with Marcus Waring uh, with one of his children, Archie. And uh, what are we cooking? some minced meat and we're just going to add some little extras to it. So some baked brownie, bacon, apple, orange, treacle. We're going to make a frangipan mm -hmm. and here we're making some pastry. Archie, just want to put a little bit of that into there. I'm going to add the eggs a little bit, a little bit, top, top, top. And we'll just mix that in. And this is all things that children can do. Yes. In the pastry, we've got two eggs. Two eggs. And we've got uh, 80 grams of icing sugar. Yep. And 300 grams of plain flour. And how many, how many mince pies are we making? As many as we can get. We'll probably get about 24. So what we're doing is we're going to wrap it up in some cling film, nice and tightly, into the fridge to, to rest for about half an hour. You don't roll pastry when you've made it, it just needs to relax. Okay, so we're on to the next stage of the mince pies and we have a new assistant and you are Jessie and how old are you? Six. Right. And this is all going to be turned into something called frangipani. So this is 200 grams of butter. Put some muscle into it, mix it up. Okay, so we got, that is lit, that's just butter. Have you that's just, but just a touch of sugar because it was, it was starting to melt because the bowl's a little bit warm. Oh, okay. So two eggs. Added to the butter that's already been mixed with the sugar. Yeah. Put flour in. Shake it. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Keep, keep going. Good girl. Well done. And this is a little bit of almond essence. <laughs> Only if you put a little bit in. Oh yeah. Stop. Very good. That's it. It's either that or we can use amaretto if you want to as well. All yours now, my dear. Stir it now gently. That's it. You are a good mixer. Well done. You've done this before, see? And what we need to do, we need to put it into this, because you're going to do some piping yeah. later, and this is a piping bag. If you didn't have a, 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 a piping bag, which I know is not a very sophisticated bit of kit, uh, could you do it just, could you just dollop it? Spoon. Yeah. Just a simple spoon. Just put that, wouldn't it? And out. Well done. Mm. Well done. Yum. Well done, Jess. Mmm, it's really good. Do you like it? What do you think? We're on stage three of the mince pies, and we have um, the most senior of the sous chefs here, Jake, who is going to be doing the actual mince meat itself. Now, yeah. Marcus, we have this is about shop bought mince meat. Yeah. Unless you've made mince meat in April, May, then for me, there's no point in making it last minute. Okay. Same with a good Christmas cake. But it's worth adding these extra bits. So. I want the kids and the children, I think it's important that they realise you can't, it's not just about going to a supermarket and bringing things off a shelf, job done. There are other things you can do. And it's about adding little bits of flavour and, I don't know, just having fun in the kitchen, really. So flesh of one cooking apple, zest of an orange, and what other magic ingredients are ready? Some dry, dry cranberries, some prunes, which Jake's going to chop up. At what age should a child be trusted with a very sharp knife? I think from about, I'd say, oh, I should say it's nine, ten. I think the most important with knives is, is showing them how to use a technique. And there's well, no advantage using a blunt knife, is it? It's going to make matters. I was just going to say a blunt knife is a dangerous knife because you're, you're putting more pressure on something. Put them into there. And then all of that in there, Jake. And we're going to open this and a couple of teaspoons of those, tablespoons of those. So the mince meat's going into the, the stuff that you've zested and grated. Yep. And chopped. Here we start mixing. So we're adding how much black treacle? Two, two, two spoons. Mm. It smells like what Christmas pudding's made of. Yeah. Well, it's quite similar, isn't it, really? When you're tasting something like that in its raw state, it is incredibly strong. What we're going to do is when we're adding it into a pastry, uh, and then a frangipan, and that strength dilutes. But oh, flavor, delicious. Great flavour. <laughs> I could eat that straight out of the bowl. <laughs> so the pastry's now rested in the fridge for half an hour or so. So what we don't do is we don't just go rolling in there, because then it just the whole pastry just goes out into lots of different directions. So we just need to... Sorry. <laughs> Not got a date today, have we? No. Yeah. What thickness are we going for? It's about a couple of mil. A couple of mil. Okay, we've got our frangipan that we made earlier, which Jess is beautifully doing. It's been in the fridge. And just get a little bit of firmness to it. So this is instead of a, of of a pastry top. Of a pastry, yeah. mm. Now how long will it take to cook in the oven? This will take about 15 minutes. Right. That's good. Good ring. 
Wow. These are proper home cooked mince pies. You've got a little bit of icing sugar just turns into Christmas. Mmm, that is very good. Ooh, Jesse, marks out of 10. 10 out of 10, but it's hot. 